When I was 12 years old, I started mowing lawns for other neighbors in my, in my neighborhood. What's interesting is I was just reading this book, 10X is Easier Than 2X, and there's a guy named, in chapter two, Dan Sullivan, the author, writes about Chad Willardson, the founder of Pacific Capital. And he had the similar start as I did when he started mowing lawns in his neighborhood to earn money. It's, when searching for him, it says, this early exposure to entrepreneurship and personal responsibility planted the seeds for his future career. Willardson's professional path took shape during his time at college. While not having a clear direction initially, a visit to a career fair during his senior year changed everything. He found himself drawn to the field of wealth management after speaking to representatives from Merrill Lynch. This interest led him to pursue a career where he could combine his people skills with his analytical ability and interest in finances. So then joining up with that, to give more details to that story, Dan Sullivan kind of summarizes it all. Fresh out of college at 24 years old, Chad got into a program at Merrill Lynch and he was one of 100 trainees to start the program and he was one of two to finish to complete the program successfully. The purpose of the program was to teach aspiring advisors both how to invest in and attract new clients as well as to reach $15 million under management within 18 months. Anybody who didn't make or didn't get that $15 million was out. So early in this process, Chad told his manager and some of the senior advisors that he would aim to only work with clients that had over $100,000 to invest. And then they promptly told him, well, that's impossible, right? Nobody with that kind of money was going to invest in somebody that young, 24 years old. But remaining committed to his own standards, Chad committed to himself that he wouldn't work with anybody for less than that, who had less than that to invest in. So... For months, Chad hit the grindstone. He was the first person in the office, the last person out. He spent hours studying and passing big exams and building relationships with hundreds of business owners in, the, in that area to build relationships. And re he read all sorts of books from business, wealth management, and personal development. During his first six months, he made hundreds of calls every day and experienced nothing but rejection. He didn't land a single new client. Fast forward six months into the program, Chad received a surprising phone call from a man that he'd called six months earlier. Ready to retire, the caller had $600,000 to roll over into a retirement investment account. Remembering their positive phone conversation and Chad's multiple follow-up outreaches, he wanted Chad to be his wealth advisor. Even at 24 years old, $600,000. Chad's first client had $600,000, six times more than the minimum standard he set for himself. This boost was obviously a confidence booster, but after his first year in the program, Chad raised his standards from 100,000 to 250,000. He got what he focused on. By the time the 18 month program ended in 2005, Chad had more than doubled the trainee graduate hurdle of 15 million and he had over $30 million of assets under management. During the next seven years, Chad added $280 million of assets under management, reaching the top 2% of advisors with Merrill Lynch. At that point, companies like all the other Morgan Stanley's, Goldman Sachs, and others were reaching out for him and offering him a $4 million cash signing bonus. But Chad had other ideas. He was convinced that his next level of growth was not from working under another company, but rather going out on his own. But that presents a lot of risk doing that. Chad's spectacular 10x growth occurred by developing a unique level of mastery in understanding and support of his entrepreneurial clients. He's niching down from anybody with over X amount of dollars to people in a specific line of work, a line of, with people with a specific experience level. He saw that the only way that he'd have the freedom to help the level of clients that he wanted to at the level of service that he wanted to, offering them options and solutions beyond a specific firm's umbrella, was to open his own private fiduciary wealth advisory firm. So in, when Chad opened Pacific Capital in 2011, 
He committed to his focus of working exclusively with high growth entrepreneurs who are either millionaires or multimillionaires. He committed to becoming more and more niche and specific on who he served and how he helped them. Starting from scratch again, because when you move from one firm to another or starting your own firm, you had to give up all his old clients, right? So starting from scratch again, Chad focused only on quality, not quantity. Providing the best and most nuanced support, he couldn't cast a wide net, right? The minimum standard at the beginning of his business, at Pacific Capital, was he wanted to, wanted to work with entrepreneurs with a million dollars minimum to invest and grow. Chad's goal reshaped his focus and mastery. His 20% was now radically different and more specific than the 20% of his previous 10X jumps, right? He started with Morgan Stanley. He wanted to work with people at $100,000 or more. Then it was 250,000. Now he's working on his own and he wants to work with people who have a million dollars or more and are entrepreneurs, right? So he's changing things up quite a bit. But now let's watch his trajectory of growth here. From 2012 to 2017, Chad went from starting out, from starting over, having zero, to having over $300 million in assets under management. As the time of this writing, this is back in 2022, 2023, I think, believe, Chad personally manages over $1 billion with very strict focus on eight to nine figure entrepreneurs. He, when he started in 2011, he was at seven figure entrepreneurs. Now he's at eight and nine figure entrepreneurs. He's continually niching down the more he, uh, more he progresses. So in 2021, he said he rose his minimum, his standard new client from 1 million to two and a half million. In 2022, his, he rose his minimum standard new client from two and a half million to five million. In 2023, he rose his minimum standard client from 5 million to 10 million. His focus and optimization are getting clearer and clearer. Chad focuses on reaching impossible goals by continually eliminating his 80%, the people that he won't work with. Chad doesn't raise the standards for his new clients. He also raises the standard for himself. Every year he takes on fewer clients but the value of each client is 10x the average of his former clients. Moreover, the value and impact that Chad provides these whale of clients is far more than unique, far more unique and precise than when he was working with a broad range of clients. He knows that achieving more does not necessarily mean doing more. And that's an underlying key for moving from 2x growth to 10x growth. He, Chad continually 10X'd himself such that even his biggest clients are simply trying to keep up with Chad's exponentially elevating lifestyle and financial standards. He's living by example, not offering broad and cookie cutter theory or products. That's, that's something that we can all aspire to. And I find that Chad's story is really inspiring, but that's the summary of that. This is from Chapter two of 10X is Easier Than 2X by Dan Sullivan.